What is up YouTube, Dragon Taco 7 here, and today I am reviewing the new playmat by Gem. Um, that just came in the mail today. Um, this is actually the first mat that I bought from Gem, so, you know, I was really curious as to see what these were like. And honestly, <laughs> these things are pretty damn good. Um, so, size-wise, they are pretty similar to Spellground. Um, they're just, this is Spellground in the background, see? Um, they're a bit shorter. Um, more evident up top. Um, but they are a little bit wider than the Spellground. And this is obviously not the best picture because it's not directly on top of it. Um, but they are like just a tiny bit wider than the Spellground. Um, they also are a, I don't know if you can tell, but they are a little bit thicker than um, a Spellground. And if you really can't tell by looking at it like this, then you will definitely be able to tell by like how it feels. I always thought Spellgrounds, you know, they felt really nice. Um, but this just feels so much better. Uh, compare, I mean, the Spellground, I mean, Spellground fibers, they feel like, they honestly feel like cheap quality now. Um, which is something I thought I would, like, never say. But, like, if you press... If you take a card, card sleeve and like you press it down on it and move it around, you would get like that noise, and that's due to like you know you pressing on the fibers, and it's hitting this back part. Like that's what gives it the sound. This, on the other hand, is thicker, so like even if you also press on it, like you don't get that same noise. as opposed to like this actually sounds like you're scratching something as opposed to this you're just rubbing it against um and like just brushing your hand across it it's like when you it's like it's like you can form it's, you can form like a carpet pattern you know when you fresh freshly um use a vacuum over something over your carpet and you can just get that light dark pattern you can do it out you can't really do that on a spell ground like everything is just so short um, you barely get any texture here um, something that I guess will be end up preference for you is the texture on this on like spell grounds like all the design stuff that really sticks out more as opposed to here, I mean, you can feel it, but it's a lot less noticeable than on, oops, than on the spell ground. Like, like, there's no mistaking this. You know, it's all preference. So, um, something I guess to note, the spell ground, I believe, was around 40 bucks, and the gem playmat was around 50, so... This was ten more dollars than the Spellground, but it's you can it's definitely a better quality um, than Spellground. So I'm actually really happy with this. This is this will end up being my new main playmat, and uh, well, that's it. Oh, one last thing. I guess you know I can't really end the review without like saying something negative. Um, just a really small thing, but. This is the bag it comes in, and putting it back in the bag is kind of a pain, um, just because the fit is like really tight, um, as opposed to a spell ground. When you fold, like I don't have the bag on me, but you know you fold the spell ground and you can stick it in the bag no problem. This it'll be it's a very tight fit, but I mean that's just like a r really small. I guess con, but pros definitely outweigh it. Gem play mats, um, 
to my knowledge, is the best playmat available at the moment. So, that's it. Thanks for watching.